So what we're doing is getting some nippers. So what you look for is these holes. of them that allows two for each whiting and spares which we're going to chase whiting tomorrow coming down we're going for a whiting bash it's gonna be nice I went out and got some nippers yesterday I didn't get too many I only got a couple as in eight but it's enough for a start so whiting rod squid rod that'll do a little bit of burly maybe Gonna meet him down the boat ramp and get into it. Wonder if he was already down here. No, didn't think so. Look who it is! Yeah, I'll go up a bit further, it doesn't really matter. I'm not driving around anyway. Windows up, lock the doors, and then we help the food! Look at this gumdrop button. Snap up. Gone. <laughs> the compass. How's your nose guard go? I oh, know. How good. <laughs> this is how Ben takes off his kayak from the roof. If anyone wants a good design, you gotta come up with. The awning design. The awning slash have a roller there for your kayak. So it's the kayak awning launcher loader. And that's why you have your nose guard. It's 
sort of get a hole in the car and, and then you just toss it away. <laughs> I don't have any corrugations left in this bit, Ben. Squid jig. I lied to him. <laughs> I brought a squid jig. Bro. No, I got a squid jig and a whiting rod. Ben doesn't even know where they are. Look at him, he's skateboarding. <laughs> ah. He's coming up to a sand patch. Tide's coming in, so it's sort of me taking us that way a bit, so I can probably back up this side of it, maybe. I'm pretty sure it's on an edge of a sand patch. So I probably want to be, yeah, this side of it. This side, that side. In the corner of it. So that we can cast back into the sand patch rather than into the weed and parking on top of our sand patch. All right, so <clears throat> got a bit of squid on this one which I've just got the one rod because I like to focus on just one rod when I'm whiting fishing. Um, but I've got squid and nippers. I've only got eight nippers, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap here and there and find out which one's working better for the whiting. And it's probably gonna be a squid, it's normally a squid, but fresh nippers never goes too bad either. And so this is the setup I've got. I've got a leader with a running sinker, which I've just tied that on there. That's just a bead sinker. Um, I've just uni knotted that on there, which has that so it can slide. So that's it. That's the setup. And we know our sand patch is out to our left, so we're going to be casting out about five metres that way. And hopefully we can get something pretty early. Bang, about there. Hopefully that's our sand patch. I'm sure we'll know soon enough if there's plenty of whiting around because they normally eat it pretty quickly after hitting the ground. That's a nice fighting warning. I don't even have a net ready or anything. Oh, he's a good one. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, whiting is so much fun. Check that out. He's bananas. He's a good one, too. He's like a mid 30s. Anyways. <laughs> Hold him up, please. He's a decent horse. Look at that. That's epic. I haven't chased targeted whiting in a while so it's good fun it really really is some of the most fun fishing you'll ever have and you do have to grip them a bit funny because they are very slimy and that is a nice whiting that's epic leather jacket There's a nice sharp thing on their head there I don't want that in us, and they've got sharp teeth too, so. What we're gonna do is use the pliers on these suckers, and I think what I wanna do is move spots because I'm assuming that that's what's taking all of my baits. So I'm gonna shuffle. Yeah, baby. White tang! He might be a bit small, but if he sizes is a good bait one, now, because I like to use King George whiting as bait as well, so. If you're not sure, it means he's either a good bait one, or you got to release him. 
I reckon he might be just right. All right, guys, sorry about that. Um, so I ran out of battery just after I caught my second whiting. Um, we actually got nine whiting, two squid, one was a bit smaller, one was a really nice size, and a goatfish, which was actually delicious, which I cooked up in a Josh Nyland recipe out of one of his two books there, which are actually unreal books. Like, if you're into your cooking your fish and eating your fish, you should have them because they're bloody unreal. Alrighty, we're just packing the car. Early morning session tomorrow. Um, gummy shark and snapper target species. Head to Langy. Lang, Lang, and got some fresh baits. So, should be in for a nice morning. It's supposed to be really calm, so I'm pretty excited. But I'm gonna struggle to sleep because it's stupid hours, 2 a.m. start. So, hopefully. I reckon we should be on though, we should be on. <laughs> All righty, we're heading out, and it's so calm, just like I was hoping for. So, pretty excited because I haven't fished out in here ages in the kayak, and what I've done in the boat haven't had any success. So it's been a real decent time. Um, it's almost three o'clock in the morning. No one else out, just me. Which means it should be like that until the high when people come to fish either side of the high. So yeah, we'll venture out to a channel and park up on an edge and hopefully catch some snapper and gummies. You. Alrighty, so we've got some nice fresh baits here. So we've got squid, which is flaps and head kept the tube for food, pike, and there's about, I think there's five King George Whiting in here which we use as chunks, um, head chunk, 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 tail chunk, sort of thing, um, and there's a grass whiting in there too. This is our first bait, so you can see there we've got a hook through its face and a hook through its chin. Got one circle hook, which this is going to go on. Uh, grass whiting chunk is getting nibbles. <laughs> Look at this little sucker. Real tiny school. It's a big hook. It's done its job though. It's pretty cool. Hello. This could be it. That one there's just decided to go off as well. That's a circle hook. So hopefully that one's hooked itself. Got that stick green. He's a keeper, he's coming with us. Nice. 
that should be another snapper. Feels a bit better than the last one. It's a bit more psycho. I will net this one. He's pretty similar, but he is a little bit bigger actually. Nice. That's pretty sick. He's a bit better. He's gonna go nuts again now. He's scoffed the other hook too. was the King George Whiting tail bait. I'm just gonna let it take it for a bit because it was kind of big. It's a nice early start. I'm hoping it didn't drop it. I did have to just change the battery in the camera then. Oh. It is on there. I might have this a bit tight though. It does feel a bit fancy though. Oh, it's a nice. You didn't really do much. <laughs> Nice one. Oh, here's a good one. Check that. That's a bit better again. So he's probably in that 50s. Oh, he's a good one. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, boy. That's epic. So as I was out fishing after the high tide, it sort of died off a pretty a bit, like even leading up to. So I did a bit of this nice little time warp, um, which we, which I also ended up getting a few rays, like more evil rays, pretty Don't much. Around that I was getting at that time. So. Come on, yeah. It's an eagle. We need it back out this way, nice and quick. We got our hooks back. <laughs> wow! Alrighty, guys. Um, so that's the end of that session. Pretty good. I'm happy with it. Um, three snapper, which I haven't caught three snapper in one trip in a long time. Um, it'd be nearly a whole year, actually, I reckon. Um, anyways, so me baits that were successful. The two smaller ones were on the squid, bit of squid strip, 
and the bigger one was on King George Whiting. So I'm pretty happy with the King George Whiting. Um, let us know, do you guys use King George Whiting? Because I want to know. And what do you catch on it? Because sometimes you just tend to get bad fish, like rays and banjos and Port Jackson sharks and all that. But I found the King George Whiting has been working really well lately for me. So yeah, let us know if you've caught some good species like snapper. Gummy shark, I had a gummy shark today. It was on grass whiting, head, head half, body half. That was pretty cool, but it got off of the boat because it didn't actually bite into the hook. It was just holding onto the head bait in its mouth and clamped down on it. So, yeah. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, hit the subscribe, leave a like. Uh, and yeah, let us know in the comments down below if you use King George Whiting bait and what you use it for because I haven't used it a heap, but recently I've been using it a lot and it seems to be doing pretty good. So yeah, catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.